If memory serves me right from when I was in kindergarten, this was my first exposure to video games. I went to a friend's house where his older brother had a Super Nintendo, and it was there that my friend introduced Nintendo and the Mario Brothers to me. This is Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. By now, everyone knows what the story is. Bowser kidnaps Peach, Mario has to save her. Nintendo really didn't put much effort into the story of Mario games until they entered 3D space. But even then, the stories are pretty bare bones because if you're playing a Mario game, you're not playing for a deep story. You're playing for the superb platforming. In this case, the superb 2D platforming. Mario World was a launch title for the SNES in 1991, and while 2D 16-bit games do show their age, it's better to look at how this game represented an evolution for the series and for Nintendo systems. Mario now has enough detail to actually have a face, and there's plenty of vibrant color in the stages, the overworld map, and even with the enemies. This would eventually lead to the light-hearted personality and tone that Mario games have since adopted. Like other games of its era, any voices are just sound effects, and most of the sound effects are just decent at best, but the music greatly enhances the fun gameplay. It's high quality music even for a 29 year old game. It's usually pretty cheery, but even in the more difficult or just spookier levels, it never loses that Mario charm. It's a good thing Nintendo made this game available on Nintendo Switch Online, because truth be told, when I was introduced to the SNES, I didn't spend that much time with it. One, because I didn't own any video game consoles at my house until 1999, and I was actually introduced to this game and the system towards the end of 1995. A year later, my friend got a Nintendo 64, and we were so impressed with that system that we never played the SNES anymore. I would really only play this game on family trips where the hotel had an SNES plugged in. Yes, those kinds of hotels exist. Playing on the Switch after having been the Nintendo reviewer for 8 years as of today gave me a sense of appreciation for what this game brought us and how far we've come since. Bear in mind, I still prefer 3D platformers over 2D any day, but Mario World's platforming sets the gold standard for this genre. By holding or not holding down the item button, you'll be moving faster or slower which affects the precision of your jumps. Being fast is great for speedrunning and for flying in the air for a bit with Mario's cape, but can also get you killed if you're too reckless. So going at the slower pace will keep you safer, but also could mean you finish with a lower score or perhaps not at all. It's bearing all these things in mind that engage your platforming strategy. To help you out, you've got a bunch of items to make Mario bigger and give him some kind of cool superpower. I always like using the Fire Flower, but that Cape Feather does add great dimension to the gameplay. This was also the game that introduced us to Yoshi. He does offer some great defense against certain obstacles, and his famous tongue attack quickly proves- HOLY SHIT HE JUST breathes FIRE! Why don't we see Yoshi do that more nowadays? Uh, anyway, Yoshi is a valuable companion, but platforming with him does prove to have less flexibility than when Mario is by himself. The levels themselves are well designed, with room to platform your way and several varying types of enemies to dodge and defeat, some of which are bigger pains in the ass than others. The boss fights are also pretty clever and offer up some good challenges that work within the game's mechanics. Some bosses are easier than expected as soon as you figure out the right attack pattern to use. I also like the overworld map with the occasional branching pathways. Sure, we've seen this in the new Super Mario Bros. games, but it's great to see where it all took shape so many years ago. Although I'll always like Mario 64 and other 3D adventures much better than his 2D ones, there is no ignoring the reasons why this game stands as an icon of the Super Mario series. This is another great addition to the SNES collection on Nintendo Switch Online, one that the service couldn't be without. Any fan of Mario, especially fans of his 2D platforming games, should definitely play this. And that's my review of Super Mario World for the SNES on Nintendo Switch Online. If you like this review, check out my previous reviews of Super Mario Kart for the SNES and Super Mario Maker 2 for the Switch. See you all next time, and here's to 8 years.